Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I've literally just finished filming an Instagram live. So if you saw my Instagram live, um, thank you so much for tuning in because I was so, so nervous. Um, but it was really, really fun and I wanted to like, do one every day if I could. Um, I think I'm gonna do one, well, hopefully next week at four again. Um, but I am moving house like next week. Like I get the keys for my new place next week. I'm not actually moving yet. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff I have to sort out on Wednesday, so I don't actually know whether I'll have time to go live, but hopefully I will. And if not, I think I'll go live on Sunday, potentially. We also had 250 people watch, like that is amazing, that's so many. Um, so yeah, thank you again if you tuned in. But anyway, today's video, we are reacting to a new episode of The Next Step. It is number... 19 and it's called big decisions from what cbbc have no the next step put on their instagram i've gathered that it is a full b troop episode again like episode 14 was um also the spoilers that we well out of context spoilers that we had previously bunny slippers bunny slippers um and we've seen from pictures that winnie is going to be wearing bunny slippers in this episode we also know potentially that winnie's going to get injured this episode and there's going to be tap dancing and summer is meant to get a letter from dance mania i would kind of like it to be both a troop and dance mania no a troop and b troop rehearsing for their separate things in the same episode um, because dance main is literally in a few episodes and we haven't really got a full dance done i am very excited i'm very excited for this episode because i just feel like b troop are going to prove why they're the troop going to nationals they just seem a lot more dedicated and i think the reason they're going to be doing tap this is my theory that there'll be like a wild round at nationals and it's like you can do any style you want and when will want to do tap which i think is a really good idea i think that makes it so much more interesting than just the standard contemporary hip-hop and acro that we usually see but i don't really know and i have no theories at all for what this letter could be for summer from dance mania because if they were asking her to compete as a soloist because a soloist had dropped out, then I don't think she would do that. Well, I wouldn't want her to anyway because of the effort she went to to try and help B Troop go to nationals. And, well, you know, what? I could see her doing that actually because season 7 B summer is different to the past summers. Let's have a look. Let's watch the episode. I have high hopes. So I'm hoping that I'll like this episode. Oh, okay. It's not a full B Troop episode because we have Rochelle. Same as the other full B Troop episode. Emily and Nick both at the studio at the same time. It's just I can't really stop thinking about Michelle's offer. Oh wait, we need to find out if Emily accepts Michelle's offer, don't we as well? So that is something we'll also need to solve this episode. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. These aren't the ones we ordered, Nick. What? Look. Oh. But I kind of feel like if you've ordered and paid for costumes, you should get the ones that you picked, not the ones that the company has decided. If they were free and you just like decide which one you want and then they chose a different one then that's fine but i feel like that's a bit dodgy of them also didn't nick say in a previous episode that he went over budget with the costumes for dance mania like i don't know if that's those ones but are they gonna refund him because if he went over budget buying something and they've sent him alternative ones is he gonna get a refund there's an envelope in here for summer summer call the police we need to call the police Oof, plot twist. I actually really like that scene. Have no negative comments. I liked Rochelle. I like Rochelle and Nick's dynamic as well. I don't know, she doesn't talk to him the same way that she used to speak to Miss Kate and everyone. They're kind of on the same level, but a respectful level. Right now, I'm working on the choreo for the Nationals routine. B Troop is making huge improvements every day. I just want to perfect all the dances. We love that energy. Can everyone have that attitude, please? <laughs> also, I love how she's not just doing a sad solo in Studio One. Like, she's actually doing a dance for Nationals. She's working on something. I really love B Troop. I can't wait for Nationals. Yeah, this is too good to be true, isn't it? Like, <laughs> nothing's this happy in the next step. <laughs> Hi. Hey. This came for you from Dance Mania. For me? Yeah. That's that scene was really weird because it seemed very natural. I don't know. It didn't seem absolutely crazy. Maybe it's because the camera angle didn't change. It just seemed very natural and I really liked it. Both Miles and Sage were very good actors then. I liked it a lot. They want me to audition again. What? One of the soloists dropped out. FBI, open up! Is my mind connected to the next step? What? 
I am a genius. B Troop's counting on me. I can't do that to them. Dance Mania's huge, but so is Nationals, and I love my team. Season 7 A Summer is coming back. The wholesome summer that cares about people. We love it. How do I choose? I don't know. I feel like she should tell B Troop, and B Troop would probably tell her to go to Dance Mania, and then they'd obviously get Presley because she's in the trailer. Um, I think that's what will happen. I'd like B Troop to tell her to go rather than her just bailing on the team. I've always dreamed of being a choreographer and today I finally get my chance. I love Winnie. Like, imagine having a model replica of the next step. She owns my heart. I love it. Oh, tiny little point I just want to say. I love Winnie's dance outfit for this season. I think it's so pretty. And I kind of wish Emily would come out of the office though because like Nick's been down to summer, dealt with the costumes, come back up to Winnie and Emily's probably still in there doing nothing. <laughs> I know my tap routine is impossible to resist. As long as I can find someone to step up, I've got this in the bag. Okay, so the tap storyline, I like it because it's relating to nationals. This might be one of my favorite episodes. I don't know why, it just feels very natural. And honestly, I think it's the actors that are in it. Like, it's nothing like over exaggerated. It's very natural, very normal, very calm. Like, there's still drama, because obviously we've got Summer, who has to debate whether to go to Dance Mania. We've got these brand new costumes, and we've got Winnie, who's injured. But it just seems very... mature. One and two and three and four and five, six and jump and one. We've got more bee troopers! Oh my gosh, my dreams are coming true. We've got a rehearsal. Love it. Oh, wait. Cleo and Jude. We need to address that this episode, please, because it's been two weeks now since they went on their date and admitted they liked each other, basically. Um, but we haven't heard anything, so. Hey, Summer. So, I've been making a schedule, and I think I'll have enough time to learn all the dances before nationals. Why are Bay Troop actually more mature than A Troop? Like, Jude is, Jude has so much initiative. Like, she's dealing with her dyslexia issues so well. But, is Summer dance captain? Because I kind of wish that Summer and Cleo were the leaders. B Troop would be a lot worse off. They look up to me as a leader on this team. It's a really big responsibility. I think she should she should choose nationals, honestly. Yeah, because she'd have to go against the next step if she was a soloist. Like, that's just gonna come back to bite her. Yeah, choose nationals, Summer, please. It's nice sharing responsibility of dance captain with Summer. Oh, okay. They are dance captains together. I stand B troop. B troop, best troop. Everybody in the A troop, sit down, sit down. Dance Mania would have been really cool, but I love being a part of this team. Yes, Summer. We love it. Wholesome behavior. When I see the costume, the beautiful costume, just hanging there. No, Summer. Don't get tempted by a glittery costume. You can have a glittery costume for nationals. Think of Michelle, showstopper. If you ask me, I'd choose Dance Mania in a heartbeat, but I understand your decision. Nick, you have no experience with a dance studio or a dance company or a dance school or anything like that. You just love Dance Mania. Do you know what though? If Dance Mania personally invited her to replace a soloist, that means that they obviously took a liking to her. So couldn't she just audition next year? Like she can do nationals this year and take B Troop to nationals. Then they'd all be a qualifying team, which means that she could easily leave after nationals if they win or whether they lose and then go to Dance Mania next year because they're gonna take an instant liking to her and be like, oh, that's Summer from last time. That's what she should do. I think that's a better idea, really. I've recruited Grace and Marcus to execute my vision for this tap dance so that I can prove to Nick that I can be a great choreographer. Look at these bee troopers doing hard work. I love it. Go on, Grace and Marcus. And Grace, your shuffle ball change looked really shuffle ball strange, so let's tighten that up. <laughs> really shuffle ball strange. Love that. Smile, Grace. Smile with your eyes. Do you know what? I really love this. I love that they're actually working on stuff and they're doing something other than just contemporary and hip-hop, which, like, obviously that's great, but doing tap will really boost their skills, like, and make them more well-rounded. I just love that they're bringing something new to it, and I love Winnie so much, and I, 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 I love it. I think this might be my favourite episode so far. Oof. It keeps zooming in on Winnie's slipper, and, like, we already know she's in a bunny slipper. So I have a feeling that she's gonna put the tap shoes on anyway and do this tap solo, which I would love. But also, Maddie Langdon was injured for season seven, so I don't know whether she will. But it just seems odd that they keep zooming in on it. I will say though, why doesn't Winnie put both bunny slippers on? 
Although, I guess she is like determined to cling on to her tap dancing dream, so <laughs> I understand. So Matt, keep your eyes off the glittery costume. You can just have a glittery costume for nationals. I will buy you one, okay? Why are you looking at it like that? That isn't yours, what? Oh, okay, I thought she was actually taking it like to the locker room and keeping it. I really want to keep Summer on beetroot, but seeing Summer with the costume shows where her heart is. Let's remember the early part of season seven where she was literally just looking for any opportunity to get involved in a dance and she hated the fact she was an alternate even though that's what she auditioned for and now i think she's gonna tell summer to go and follow her dream and i don't think she would have done that earlier seasons oh but i do just think summer should go to nationals this season because she wants to do both she doesn't not want to do nationals go to nationals next year audition for dance mania and they'll have a special liking for you probably accept you and then go on it I mean, I guess there's that chance that they wouldn't let her on. Yeah, I guess it is a moral dilemma really, isn't it? But that's what I would personally do. Hey guys, listen up. Summer is about to make a huge mistake and we have to stop her from doing that. I guarantee that, like, the impression they're trying to give here is that the mistake is going to Dance Mania and that Cleo wants to change her mind, but Cleo's actually talking about how Summer wants to stay with VTube instead of going to Dance Mania, and that will honestly warm my heart so much. I'm in, let's do it. Wait, what are we talking about? I really have to start asking that. I get a little overexcited sometimes. It's one of my things. That Izzy thing seemed a bit pointless then, not gonna lie. I don't know, I felt like it was just a bit odd. <laughs> it was a bit unnatural. So they're not doing tap at all now. I, I really love the idea of them doing something different, but now it's just the same old stuff that they always do. Marcus and Grace weren't really feeling the tap, so we went with a more jazzy option with a dash of hip-hop. Yeah, but they, they were good at tap. Like, it was really, really good. I don't know why they completely scrapped the idea. Why not just have tap with a few, like, lifts in it? Because that is possible. You just have to work hard at it. Oh, there was so much potential there. I saw A Troop dance to this song. When did A Troop dance to this song? Because it wasn't at Nationals. It's Smile at the End of the World, which they did in their opening dance for season two. Bit confused, was Grace just like lurking in the windows or something? Why are Grace and Marcus just sat over there opposite them? They're so far away. And when you can fit your foot back in your tap shoe, I'd be happy to watch your original tap routine, if you want. You can count on it. I love Nick. Why does Nick seem like he's like a friend to every single dancer and on such a level, like, mindset with them? Oh, I love it. I love the dynamic. <laughs> Even if you have a vision, sometimes you have to work with your teammates to create a vision that works for everybody. Yeah, I agree, Winnie. But literally, they could have just done a tap dance with a few lifts in it, or even done pirouettes in tap shoes. Like, picked a different song even. Like, do that song because Grace loves that song and that's significant for her. But I, I already have a feeling that Nationals isn't going to happen anyway, because, and I, I keep forgetting to mention this, if Summer does leave um, B Troop, which I, I'm pretty sure she will because we saw in the trailer she dances with A Troop at Dance Mania, um, and Presley comes in to replace her, there'll be no one left on the team that won regionals. Therefore, it's not the same team that qualified for nationals. So I feel like that's going to be the reason they don't even go. Another dance? We have been spoiled today, guys. We're working on a small group dance for nationals. Small group dance? Where's Maya? I thought Maya was in the small group dance. Why have they changed the small group and who's in it? And Nick said the small group had to be lyrical for nationals, so it looks lyrical at the moment. I'm hoping it stays lyrical. I just don't get why they've changed the people that are in the dance. Judges are gonna need new socks because we're gonna blow them off. Do you know what I thought of then? When Angela said something like, we're gonna blow your socks off and Michelle said, I never wear socks. <laughs> Lily's gonna knock your socks off. Shows what you know. I'm not wearing any socks. I never wear socks. Oh my heart. I love B Troop so much. Last time I auditioned for Dance Mania, it was because the team turned against me. But this time, it's because they have my back. Summer doesn't consider A Troop her team anymore. She considers B Troop her team. <gasps> From the moment I joined the next step. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've got flashbacks. This is like Noah's solo. Oh my God, I'm crying. And it's to Empire part three. Didn't, didn't Noah do his goodbye solo? 
to Empire Part 2. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique. I'm genuinely emotional right now. Like, I've just got it frozen currently on Emily and Rochelle, like, in season two. Oh. Emily hasn't been in this season, this episode yet. She's just been sat in the office. I really want Emily to come out and have a heart to heart with Rochelle. The dance captain is supposed to hand it down to the next dance captain. But do you think when they were editing that, they were like, oh damn, we forgot about the dance captain diary. Um, do we, do we mention that or now? Let's just forget about it. But one thing I don't get, like it's gone from how Emily's always told her how to be dance captain to Summer being picked instead of her, but she did pick her in season five. Why not include that one? Does that not fit the narrative? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Every time it does a flashback, I freak out. I can't deal with it. The only thing to break me now is if there's a flashback with Noah, I won't be able to deal with that. Or Jackie. If I see Jackie or Noah in these flashbacks, I'm going to lose my mind. It's not me. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's tipping me over the edge, guys. Tipping me over the edge. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. I admire Noah for knowing when it was time to go off on his own. <laughs> She's gonna follow what Noah did. Oh, uh, wait, if she leaves, they'll need to replace, well, they might need a replacement on the team, but does Dance Mania have a set number of dancers? They'll ask Summer, instead of being a soloist, to go back on A-Tube. I just don't know what she's gonna do, because she wasn't asked to be a soloist on Dance Mania, so she's just gonna leave. I'm gonna say right now, though, I'm not a fan of the slow motion at the moment. I feel like it would be a lot more emotive if it was just her in normal motion. <laughs> Oh, so I didn't like how the dance, Winnie's dance changed from being tap to being the standard contemporary hip hop mashup, which they always do. And I didn't like how Cleo and Jude weren't, weren't mentioned again. They didn't even like hold hands or like look at each other flirtatiously. There was nothing. Um, so the things that I did like, I'll talk about Rochelle Solo in a second. Um, I loved how Winnie got a bit of a plot, a bit of a backstory, because we have known her since season six. And I said that Winnie deserves better. She got her justice in this episode. Um, I wish that Maddie wasn't injured when she filmed this because we would have probably seen a tap solo from her. I just honestly wish that the Nationals duet had been a tap duet and fused it with other elements. Yeah, that ties into the fact that I don't know why the small group lineup changed just because it changed to lyrical because Maya is more of a lyrical dancer than Izzy, surely. Literally everyone's acting in this episode was really good. It felt very natural and very mature. I really liked it. There was nothing immature about the episode, probably because A Troop weren't there. Apart from that one bit where Izzy stood up randomly, because that didn't seem to link very well. Yeah, I really loved it. Of course, I would have loved to see a dance mania um, rehearsal, but I say that literally for everything, so I don't even expect it anymore. I also would have loved to see Miss Angela, but where was she? And I didn't get why Emily was in that episode just saying, oh, I need to think about what Michelle said. And that was all she said for the whole episode. Like, surely I would have just had Emily not there at all if she's not going to do anything for the episode. Yeah, that, that flashback solo was so emotional. I can't deal with it. It was, no. <sighs> I said before I'm not going to be sad when Rochelle leaves because I don't feel like she's had the right amount of development, but I honestly will be. I'm getting, I, I'm welling up thinking about it. Why didn't Emily just come out the office and like, she could have spoke to Rochelle about her decisions and stuff. Like they both have big decisions to make. <gasps> what if next episode they both discuss their decisions? If I was writing season seven, that would, that would happen in the next episode. They both sit down and Rochelle's like saying to Emily, I'm going to leave the team or whatever. Um, I'm going to be a soloist. Like, I don't know. I don't really know what she wants because she was jealous of Summer getting that opportunity. But I f honestly feel like she would have dance captaincy by now if she'd read the dance captain diary, which they showed, even though they've clearly forgotten about it. She should be dance captain by now. She should be the main dancer in every dance, but she doesn't develop enough in terms of her writing to get it. Like she didn't deserve to be chosen as dance captain in episode three because she didn't let her dance go on a water break and she insisted on taking selfies with them instead. And she, when she was asked who she thinks should be an alternate, she just, said her group she didn't actually be objective about it whether or not summer deserved it is a different question but rochelle didn't deserve it then and she should by now realistically um so i don't really know what she'll do i had a theory ages ago that she would have a thing with jones but i thought that'd be a romantic thing i can't see her going to jones's studio just to compete as a group dancer 
you know? Because they haven't even said who's getting the solo at Dance Mania. Like, she could still have a big solo <laughs> on stage and have all this attention on her. And also, Dance Mania gives them a better chance of becoming professional dancers, so why leave before Dance Mania is done? It kind of reminded me a little of the No Shell episode that had little to no build-up for it. And it felt a bit out of nowhere, if I'm honest. It would have made more sense if when she had that breakdown and she was in her hoodie and everything, at the end of that episode, instead of having the Thunder Bros come in and be like, hey, we're, we're gonna recruit you for our bros and never mention Thunder Bros again, she does that sad solo. And it would have made more sense because she's hit her breaking point. But she was pretty much like fine last episode and top of her game. And now she's not fine again, just because Summer's got an opportunity. But I am glad that she is thinking about her future and that she was inspired by King Noah, who we stan and love. Oh, and um, I love how it was kind of said that Cleo and Summer are the co-captains of B-Troop and I like how it wasn't a full-on storyline. They just took it upon themselves to do that and B-Troop um, agreed. Like, they unanimously decided. But overall, I really, really liked the episode. Very moving, very wholesome, very mature. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below things that you did like about it. Um, make sure you subscribe because this many subscribers aren't subscribed to my channel but they regularly watch. So double check if you are one of those people and tap the red subscribe button and make it grey. Um, also turn notifications on because I sometimes do community posts and stuff like that um, and sometimes I do random uploads so it's just better that you have notifications on so you know when. I'm going to be doing an Instagram live next week at some point so go follow me on Instagram at MockingAriana underscore. I will see you on Sunday for a new video guys. It is a what if video. I'll see you later. Bye! Don't need nothing